What's up, you guys? How we doing? It's me. It's Jacob. I'm back. And yeah, it's a bit confusing. I've got a basketball and a, a football related headband. Look, don't hate me for it. I love them both. I love both sports. In fact, I love all sports. But we're not here to talk about that. Today, I'm going to continue in the fashion I have been updating you guys weekly on how I'm going here in Rockhampton. So I'll put that away. So that's what we have to do. I've woken up this morning, I've realized, shit, I've been here for over five weeks. And the last time I updated you guys was after four weeks. And it was the day before I moved into this unit. If you watched the vlogs surrounding me moving into this unit, you'll realize that it was not straightforward. In fact, I really did get the raw end of the deal. Um, and I'll say that even up to this point, my real estate agent has not replied has not replied to my emails, sending them the photos of the absolute state that this place was in when I moved in. Anyways, I don't give a shit. I'm waiting for them to contact me. And they know. They're embarrassed. They don't want to contact me because they know they're in the wrong and they don't have anything to offer me as, as a solution. So when they do contact me, I'll tell you what, I'm going to get up them. Anyway, that's not what we're here to talk about. We're actually here to talk about how I'm feeling and what's been happening in the last week since the last video. We've, we've been here for five weeks. Today is Sunday. I've woken up. We've got the UFC on. We've got a local Christchurch fighter, Brad Riddell, who's fighting today. And I can't wait. You know what I mean? That, that month long or six week long period where there was no UFC was terrible. I love waking up here in New Zealand or Australia every Sunday morning, which is Saturday night for a lot of you guys over in America, knowing there's UFC on. It's always something to look forward to. So that's the first thing. That's what I'm going to do today. I'm not going to react to it. I'm just going to sit here and watch it. The second thing I want to address is in a previous video, I sat down here about a week ago, having moved in and I genuinely said, I'm happy. I said, this is definitely the happiest I've been since being here in Rockhampton. And that was the truth, but I couldn't trust that. I mean, the way that I do my videos is, I'm, you know, as open and, and honest as possible at the time, but you never know what you're going to feel the next day. But I'm so happy to say that that, that feeling has only grown and I'm sitting here right now after being here for five weeks and I can tell you once again that I am the most happy I have been so far today as I sit here right now talking to you guys. This does feel like home. This feels like home. I've had the girls over. I haven't had them over to stay. That's going to be the next step. But as far as myself, as far as having an environment, sleeping in my own bed, you know, having my computer desk set up so that I can continue to create content, you know, going down the stairs every morning and, and making myself a coffee, you know what I mean? It's the ch it's, it really is the small things. So I can, I can safely say that I am happy. I'm genuinely happy. Like I said, you never know how you're gonna wake up the next day, but for now, it's been pretty consistent the last week. Ever since getting in here, ever since cleaning it, which I really didn't have to do, or shouldn't have had to do, but I did anyway, I've, um, I've felt at home and it feels good. This is my new setup. If you didn't know, this is my new setup here in my apartment. We've got my 100k plaque behind me and nothing much else. I really like this setup. I do. As soon as I saw this wall, I was like, okay, at least that's something. I'm going to use this for my YouTube videos and that's what I've done. So I just want to say again, a huge thank you to each and every one of you guys who's watched my vlogs, who've supported me, who've liked the video, who've commented. I know I can't get back to everybody, but I do want to say thank you. Without your guys' support in my darkest times, I don't know where I'd be. Without my YouTube channel, you know what I mean, to keep me sane, to keep me focused and productive, I really don't know where I'd be. And I will say that without my kids, without my two children having come into my life when they did, and how they did, as unexpectedly as they did, both of them, I don't know where I'd be either. I really don't. I feel like I'd be fucking lost right now. Either that or I'd be mediocre and settled for a life that would never have fulfilled me. You know what I mean? Who knows? We've all got our destiny. All we've got to do is, is live it and fulfill it. But there's only one way that I can live my life, guys. And that's without regret. And I, I don't have any regrets right now. I don't. And if I did, I'd be making a plan to sort them out. I am finally feeling completely content with where I'm at and that is all I could ever hope for. I talked to my mum for the first time since being here last night 
we talked for about an hour and I told her the same things. I said, look, it's been tough. She hasn't known any of this stuff that's been happening. I mean, I've talked to my dad on and off, but I haven't talked to my mum. Finally did last night, had her on the phone for about an hour. It was great. Um, she is still living in Alice Springs. And for anyone who doesn't know, Alice Springs is in dire straits right now as a town. It's not doing well. There's a shitload of crime going on. I am glad I'm not there anymore. I do still own a property there, which I feel sort of uneasy about, but it is what it is. My mum's still living there. She has to deal with all the shit that's going on, so that's not easy. She has a plan to get out of there at the end of the year and move back to Christchurch, and I wish her the best of luck. She is literally counting down the days. She cannot wait to get out of the place. I mean, we've all lived there for many years of our lives. It's my second home. I know the place like the back of my hand, but it is in some state right now. So I do want to say all the best to anyone living in Alice Springs who's watching this. There might be a couple of you. Stay strong, lock your cars. If you don't have off street parking, man, you're going out to your car each and every morning expecting it to be broken into. And that is no way to live. No one should have to live like that, but that's the reality of it at the moment. And so my prayers go out to anyone living in Alice Springs right now. If I could, if it was easy enough and cheap enough, I'd go back there just to check it out, just to see exactly what's going on. Because it is, it's my second home. It's sad to see this happening, but it's the truth. So, we're here, five weeks into living in Rockhampton. This is my update. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.